Hello to everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name's DeMortem, and welcome to Common Sense and Chaos. Yes, you guessed it, folks. Just so you're aware. Coming October 6th is the beginning of the Baldur's Gate 3 franchise. Another Wizards of the Coast release. Now, I believe a well-rounded individual should play more than just survival games. And as I stated in the first video, I have every intention of fulfilling that. When October 6th rolls around, I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3. I've been a big fan of this particular genre of games for a very long time. Dungeons and Dragons, as a matter of fact, is one of my favorite, and definitely one I enjoy. And when this new trailer came out, I absolutely had to play it. Now this was the first trailer in the series of trailers that have been released since but I gotta tell you it definitely caught my eye I will be releasing these videos on a regular basis after October 6th the videos will be short somewhere between 30 to 40 minutes worth of gameplay mainly because the storyline itself tends to be in depth when it comes to Wizards of the Coast games and for basic RPGs in general there seems to be a lot of character interaction and talking, along with quests and various puzzles. But I will be playing this every single week and releasing a video on the same. Now I haven't decided that I was going to give up on Conan. I absolutely won't. I like the island of Sipta and there is a whole lot to do content wise. I still have my regular Conan Exiles gameplay and that's being changed subsequently along with the Isle of Sipta. The developers are far from done with that. So we will be exploring that game together. Both the Isle of Sipta and the regular series of Conan Exiles. But in the interim, and as an addition, I will be releasing a Baldur's Gate video once a week. I don't think I'll play the old version, though I may retouch that on my own time and get refamiliarized with the mechanics. I know a lot of this has changed. The old system was, well, clunky, but enjoyable. And no longer does the rules of FACO play. You don't have to go down in armor class, and lots of the basic roles and rules and availabilities will also change. I do think we will start with Kigar Thundermace. It's one of my favorite names and one of my fair favorite characters of all times I ever created. So, though that'll be our main protagonist, it won't necessarily be our only gameplay. I enjoy a bunch of different aspects about these games, particularly the freedom of movement and choice. Most of the time in a survival game, you don't have that option. Interaction with characters is limited, so is the rules of engaging with them. And though often those scripts are written for you in only one of so many different ways, I have been told that the scripts open up quite a bit when it comes to Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm looking forward to it. New weapons, new inventory, stacking our armor, doing the best we possibly can with the new dynamics is exactly what I intend to do and no short-sightedness on my part. I'm going to go through it raw. There will be no save scumming, and there will also not be any cheating. Which is to say, I'm not going to play the gameplay ahead of time, just so that you don't get to see the action. But I do have to kind of keep those videos short, since my a copious free time is where Baldur's Gate 3 is unfortunately going to take me. 
I have a couple of different series, as stated before, that I'm definitely going to stick with. And those videos may shorten also, but never without the truth in content. I still plan on being able to see Funcom streams and break those down for you. Though that is tedious, I think it's necessary, not only for the players, the gamers alike, but also for Funcom. And my own mental health, it helps also. We'll be looking into every aspect of Baldur's Gate, from gameplay to interaction to choices to strategy. And hopefully we'll be able to figure out exactly how we go through it. And though I'm not familiar with the direct mechanics, please understand, I'm a pause player. If I can pause and set 15 statements as to what the character needs to do prior to actually doing it, I'm going to do that. Real-time strategy is fine, and it's great for a lot of players. I don't mind doing it on games like Civilization or Empires or even World of Warcraft. Those type of games are fine, and they should be played real-time. They're enjoyable. Moving around armies is, after all, very easy. But in Baldur's Gate, specifically within the D&D universe, as it is currently and prior, it's a lot more complicated. More character interactions, more abilities, more things they can do. And though having a straight-up fighter means just going into it headlong, sword and board, most often, and doing your best to chunk up everything you can fight, I like a gameplay that's a little more redacted. I like to take away from it some of the easeability of just mind-numbingly hack and slash. I love puzzles. I absolutely, truly enjoy the aspect of finding everything that's possible. As a collectionist, that's my world. And I hope you'll go along with me. We'll get into the gameplay. Yes, I know early accessors have already played quite a bit of it. But I'm hoping that a fresh take, an interesting take, and a more methodical one will be what you're looking forward to. So, just that as a quick announcement, letting you know this is coming. October 6th is when the game comes out. And I anticipate, not necessarily that week, but the following week, I will start releasing regular Baldur's Gate videos. Ahead of my normal schedule, just so I'm not so impacted by all of the work that's necessary in editing and real life work and the other game plays. I hope you don't feel this takes away and I'm looking forward to you joining me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, people will tell you what to think. Friends ask you what you think. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below and while you're there, hit that like and subscribe button. Stay safe and take care.